Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farf and I open 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After that, we'll play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, neither player is allowed to craft any cards other than in one specific situation. The winner of the match gets an extra 5 packs the following week, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. Also, every 5 episodes we introduce a new change to the Forbidden and Limited list where we ban and limit a handful of cards. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm Eastern for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. YouTube! Welcome back to some more Papega pack openings. How can we improve our Flunder deck? Or can we pivot into something else? Because I'm really feeling like Doug's gonna hard main deck for the Plunder Hunter Thunder strategy this week. Let's see if we can try potentially build into something else. He can sit and play his dumb little wind water uh, new ship combo as much as he want, but if we can find something else that isn't going to lose to nonsense 60 card pile of cards Felgrand, then maybe it might be worth exploring. Maybe with a microcoder. All right, more hollows here. We got a Kagemucha now. We got Utopic Future Zero Slash and Servant of Endymion. And that's stuck out of my face. Fala, those are two very good archetypes straight off the bat to explore the uh, secret packs from. I have to have a real look through the collection this week and see if there's anything uh, good that we can build out of what we already have. <gasps> oh! Oh yeah, he's going to shit. That's two mirror forces I have. I have quaking and vanilla. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna be so mad. What do we have here? Scraps. And in this pack, we've got dream mirrors. Femboy archetype. Let's go. That's what you're cheering for. Lose one turn. Reject combo. Return to Monkey. Uh, bro, you're unlocking so many secret packs. That is the point. <laughs> there's a Torn Scale. Just saying, there's a Torn Scale. Phantom Knights is pretty low rarity. If we can maybe unlock the pack, that'll be kind of neat. A Black Horde of Heaven! We got our own now! Let's see how he likes it! Pack numero nueve. You A's! Final pack, hollow. <sighs> Give me another sexy secret pack to go into. Is this Infernity? Mirror Force is probably what I'm the most excited about. Uh, chat, do I open the bonus packs first or after the secret packs? Because if I open five bonus packs, it could unlock another secret, which could be unfair, but maybe that's just part of winning. I should know the rules, I know, but like, I don't remember because I forgot. I've never been around when you've won. What? what? Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, Farfa, you never win, so I couldn't tell you, bro. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I opened the five packs after. Okay, it's the last thing to do. Okay, cool. All right, so let's find a secret pack. Okay, we are back opening up 10 Master Packs. Farfa has been destroying us with the Plunder Patrols, so uh, we really need to uh, try to build an Earth Wind. or Water deck. I know I said that last week, but uh, we did not get the Seeker Packs to go for that. We did get the Gradle Pack, which was great. Those were Water Monsters, but I think this week, assuming he is still playing Plunder Patrol because that seems like his strongest strategy, we really need to play around that. Even if I have to play like a less good archetype, as long as it's not a less light archetype or a fire archetype, we're probably going to be better off than we were the previous week. So uh, I think the Gradle Engine will probably go in whatever deck we play, but let's try to pull an Earth, Wind, or Water deck in today's video. Please give us some good RNG right here. We have, okay, let's take a look. And I've heard that uh, Farfus deck this week is like crazy, so this might be a little tough. Um, yeah, that sucks. Next pack here, we have, what the, <laughs> Cybris White Hat. <laughs> That's not a good card. Oh, Cybernetic Overflow, though. Maybe he pivoted strategies. I saw last week he was trying to pivot to Evil Eye, and um, if he does pivot, you know, I guess it sucks for us if we switch decks completely and he's not playing Plunder anymore, but, uh, oh my gosh. Stop picking the Valkyrie cards up. I have so many of these cards. Let's try to uh, actually pull a playable card. <sighs> Ultra, Evil Eye, Six Samurai, Sheen. Okay. Evil Eye is the uh, set that Farfa went into the previous episode, so maybe I could try my luck on that one as well. He, uh, I don't believe, actually pulled this card, but I did, so it gives me a pretty good starting point. Stardust Synchron, I don't believe that unlocks a Seeker pack. Nope, baited. <laughs> baited again? No, this time we're not baited. 
Triple Tactics Talent? Oh, yes. Okay. Blowout cards like that that are like completely unsearchable and random are great in this type of uh, series. They just get better as the weeks go on. Okay, Blizzard's not bad either. Oh, we have one last. Hollow Mist. <laughs> Um, I actually would have maybe gone for the X-Saber pack. Um, I know that Farfa opened that last week and he didn't go for it, but it's Earth, so I probably would have gone for it. But unfortunately, that is a common, not a super rare. All right, so which secret pack do we open? Okay, a decision has been made. I'm gonna go with 10 Code Talker packs. Access code opportunity to pull right here in this little pack is too good to uh, pass up. There's also some generically decent Code Talker Link 2s and 3s, like these things. Two plus cyber monsters. Okay, maybe not this one. But the other one is like an honest shooting code talker. That's like, mom, can we have access code talker? Access code talker at home. Shooting code talker. Do you know what I mean? It maybe is uh, worth trying to get them. Code talker inverted. There's regular code talker, end code talker, and cyber switch. Our hollow is fabled raging. Okay. Can we maybe get a micro coder, I suppose, if we're going to try and play this deck? Conflict is a good card. There is there is the good generic Link 3. Uh, nothing here. And Optimization. Here we go. Okay, Hollow here is Relinquished Fusion. And we got a Shooting Code Talker. Okay, we've got all the extra deck monsters, I think. But we just need some main deck, guys. Next Hollow is... Cyber Synchron. And the Talkback Lancer. It's a Link 1. That's probably good. Access? Transcode Talker! Oh boy! Alright! Can we get the access though? Is he here? We got Crosswipe, Code Talker, and Generator. I think Generator is a really good one. Here's the Ultra Pack! Looking for that Code Talker! Ojama Knight! And. There's the man! Let's go! Okay, code talkers are looking pretty fine! Uh, Alright, what do we have here? We got Proxy Dragon, we got Talkback Lancer, Clock, clock Wyvern, Clock Spartoy, and another hollow here. Microcoder? Dude! That's like their best card! Okay, five bonus secret packs. Here we go. Ba bonus pack number uno. De nada. Pack number two. Microcoder. Second transcode. Ugh. Bonus pack number three. Please don't be another access code. <laughs> okay, it's not access code. It is... Okay. Pack number four. <laughs> pack number cuatro. <laughs> oh, not from the pack. It is, it's gonna be garbage. Mahad! One more bonus pack. Here we go. Hollow! Quantum Dragon! Not too bad. Alright. Let's get to deck building. I just like packs that only have one archetype. That is one thing that I've learned over the course of filming this series. One archetype packs tend to be the best packs because every card you pull is going to be for that one archetype. And for that reason, we're going to go for a six samurai. Ten packs. Show me some ultra rares. Okay, I mean, those could be ultras, you never know. Let's see what we got, not out of the pack. We have Blue Dragon Ninja. So in this pack, we pulled Hand, not bad. I mean, if we can pull a couple Dojos and United, we should be fine. Kizan, great pickup there. Kagaki, good pickup there. Oh, not from the pack. Phoenix Chain, big pull though. Oh, and we pulled a Kizaru. I'm placing a lot of value on staples. Like I would almost consider another Kagaki, nice. We really need to pull the uh, level 2 tuner, Kagamusha. But I put a lot of value on staples. I would almost consider uh, crafting Imperm this week just to get another staple into the collection. Kizaru once again. Halfway through, not super impressed so far, but we do have some supers, I think, left. Oh, this is pretty rough, actually. <laughs> Something crazy out of this one, please? From the pack. <gasps> Battle Shogun! We do actually need to pull Kagamusha though, out of the next three packs. Like, one Kagamusha in this deck is maybe playable. Oh, I mean, that's cool to have. Probably do need more 6 hand monsters. Man, this is like such a good opening though, so far. Another Kageki. One more pack. Um, great Shogun as well. I think if we pulled one Kagamusha and like one Kizan, I would actually consider playing this deck. Let's take a look at the last pack. Grandmaster and Dojo. Okay, so the real question is, 
Did we pull? Let me go back here. I mean, we'll try it. We'll throw it together and see what it looks like. YouTube, welcome back to the deck. And this is the access code turbo code talker deck that we've come up with. It is based around the man himself, the card that will be banned in about three episodes, access code talker. So we're pivoting away from the plunder flunder hunder thunders because uh, I, I guess, you know, <laughs> he'll never expect it. And we're playing this instead. Man, like, I think we're pretty close to having a deck here, but I don't think we got enough of the good supers. So in that case... <laughs> Okay, against my better judgment, we are back. We are playing Trap Tricks without Sarah and with only one Mermilio and with only one Floodgate Trap Hole. But uh, I really just want to play uh, two archetypes here that do not give him good attributes with the Punter Patrols. And uh, as crazy as it sounds, I'm using my one craft this week from losing last week on a Gradle Alligator. This card is pretty important for the Gradle engine, which I expect to be a mainstay until there is another ban list. And uh, even then maybe Farfa won't be able to hit these cards, but Gradle Alligator is very important because you can pop it with Gradle Impact to steal a monster, where when you pop Gradle Eagle, it doesn't work because it has to be destroyed by battle or a monster effect. Gradle Alligator can be destroyed by a spell effect. So if Farfa is on the Plunder Patrol deck once again, which I'm sure he will be, this seems like a pretty strong choice. If he's not on that deck specifically, this one might have a hard time, but it does have some like really high impact cards, such as, uh, no pun intended, Gradle Impact. So uh, we'll see how this goes in today's episode. All right, I'm ending prediction submissions, boys. Oh yeah, I didn't see how my chat voted. Oh, 80% in your favor. That's great. That's really uh... <laughs> It's only 6633 on my end. Why is that? Wow, okay. See your chat is fake. On the dice they roll. Suck. Fuck! Can I win a <laughs> coin toss one time in this series? <laughs> you know, I was like considering one going second with this deck. Alright, you, you are going to love this. Just you wait and see, my friend. Alright, what do we have for yeah. one? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. okay. This is interesting. Uh, let's start with Unexpected Die! Uh, what now? An Unexpected <laughs> Die. Summoning that is out of unexpected. The deck, a, a Bytron! What? <laughs> yes, sir. I have switched huh? it up a little bit this week, Doug. I am going to summon Link Spider. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just read my card really quick. Yeah, this seems pretty hype. I like it. It seems pretty cool. Am I about to get a U-Linked? Have you been talking to Coder recently? <laughs> Is, <laughs> has he taught you the ways of U-Linking opponents? Uh, okay, so what am I trying to do at turn one? That's my question. What am I trying to set up here? Um... Probably Link Spider Pass, I think. <laughs> that's, I think that's the play. <laughs> Firewall uh, okay. Pass. I think you have to try to get to there. Yeah, yeah, activate Link Spider. Let's use one of these first. That's probably happening. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, I got it. All right, so we're gonna go into Cybers. Mm -hmm. Wicked! Oh shit, okay. Okay, That's and then hard. we're going to normal summon Text Changer. What the fuck? And now we're going to <laughs> link into. Ooh, wrong one. Ooh, got it, okay. <laughs> Like this uh, and this. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried and now. Now we're gonna link summon from the. Oh hand. my gosh, you actually are just playing code talkers. Okay, Hell yeah, yeah, dude! All right. Uh, so now we can use yeah. the effect of wicked and to chain. Uh, what are we gonna banish here? Just whatever, I suppose. Oh, to add a cypress tuner, sure. And we're gonna activate his effect. Cool generator is gonna send the card from deck to the grave here. Yeah. Seems pretty um, strong. You have Dotscaper. Is that a card in your deck? Or are there are better targets, probably. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm going to dump Microcoder, and then Wicked oh, is God. going to search for Mathmech Diameter. And I'm going to okay. activate Optimization. And I am going to... Ooh, do I want to go even more? Really not, right? Oh. There's normal so is this a normal summon, or is it... Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to activate Optimization. This lets me perform an extra normal summon. Or... Why did it work? Why did it? Why did it work? Hey! When this card is normal summon, target level four. Su Which one of these idiot cards has a restriction don't on know. it? <laughs> um... If a cyber is wait, what? why can I normal summon this? Uh, why? Why didn't this work? When this card is normal summon, target level four cybers in your graveyard. 
Oh, micro quarters level one. Oh. oh, it has to be level four specifically. Oh, I thought it was like four or lower. No, it's math mech cards. Oh, oh, I mean, it's for no. the math mech deck. Okay, okay so that was a great is... turn one combo. I'm very impressed. God, there goes um, my follow up. Damn. Okay, well, I mean, this is still a good board. <laughs> Yeah, this Everyone is shut up. And Everyone stop laughing deck. right now. Look at all these Keck W's. If you're watching on YouTube, Keck W basically means uh, LOL, LOL, um, I think is something you MySpace people might be more familiar with. Um, and this is just ridiculous. I oh, God, the Gradle. Wait, are, are you breaking my board with a Gradle again? Stop this. What does this do? Oh, it doesn't matter. You can't cause... activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who can read the least? Oh my god. You Woo! cannot make fun of me for not reading. Hold on a second. What did, what was your last turn? What did you just do? I think you summoned Math Meg Diameter and passed, so let's hold off on the accusations here. You should not throw stones if you live in a glass house. Uh, we're gonna set five cards. Holy crap! Oh my god, okay. Sorry, I thought we were doing anime rules where we can't read each other's cards and it's enough that you wanted to tell us, and then you didn't tell me, so that's kinda rude. Um, Man, why the code talker no die, huh, dog? <laughs> why the code talker no die? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, let's let's think about this for a second. Uh, what does this card do? Some card comes from <clears throat> card effects. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So the only card I believe I care about is um, Black Horn of Heaven. And I'm a little scared to climb up into a black horn uh, into into a black horn of heaven. Is it one of those cases where if he doesn't have it, it means he doesn't have it? Yeah, <laughs> or, do we, it so. or do we be, do we be careful? How much damage is this on board here? This is twenty eight plus eight. Uh, the problem is that you have Gradle Slimy Boy net for next turn, <laughs> which uh, yeah, I'd slimy. rather you didn't use to uh, steal cards. Hmm. Is this the first Master Saga where Farfa times out? <laughs> Bro, I've used 60 seconds. Chill. All right, we're just going to oh, get in really? for some damage. Um. Okay, so I think I'm going to go Ice Dragon's Ice Jason. Dragon. Damn. Okay. Reviving. Do you have a way to get the microcoder back? That's kind of the question here. I'm just going to assume you do. So I'll banish this one. Mm-hmm. So we'll banish microcoder. We'll banish the... Code talker. Sure. And then that's fine. Got more back there, does he? Yeah. I will ring this one though. See, I did read one card. I read that the wicked can't be destroyed by card effects. So at least yeah. I didn't ring that. So use Mathmech Edition in the hand to just attack and special summon. Oh god. Just attack rather. Okay. You didn't want to summon that to where the wicked pointed to trigger its effects? Uh, I unfortunately only play one tuner, <laughs> so I already. Oh, it. <laughs> shit! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, wait, no, because you banished the code talker. Damn. Uh, ooh, maybe it wasn't a great play. Um... I mean, your deck seems pretty complicated. I think you get a pass here for not knowing the correct play <laughs> at all points. I mean, okay, so the thing with Code Talker is, like, this deck isn't very good going first if you don't play, you know, the actual Code Talker extra link combo. Hey, <laughs> Weirdly, you know, there's a lot to make here. If you also have Blackhorn back there, that's going to be pretty rude. So, I mean, I'm just going for it. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Bro, you... <laughs> Three deadly trap cards. Yep. Well, jokes well, on you. I mean, I was trying to just play against Plunder, but <laughs> I mean, you switched decks, so I kind of feel like I wasted this week, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, I mean, eh, Gradles are good, sort of. They're a decent engine. Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> Apparently, like, they out an entire Plunder board alone anyway. So, so. does this do anything else? So it gives you the extra normal summon. And that's it, but honestly, the other part's kind of annoying, so I might just pop that. What's your destroy effect? Impact can destroy Gradle. It's like a Scrap Dragon. Oh. Like a Pop Slime Jr. to pop. Yeah, this seems pretty good. 
I'll okay, go Pop Slime Jr. Pop this. Trigger Slime Jr. Didn't trigger Slime Jr. for some reason. I don't know how these... Why did that... Can I only use one effect per turn? <laughs> Destroyed by this Battle and Sense of the only. Graveyard. Wait, why is that one Battle only? Okay, well, that's fine. I would have done that play still. Oh, God. Ugh. Yeah, I, I thought I cut Maybe. this card. God damn it. <laughs> I swear I thought okay. I cut this card. Now just you wait, because in 12 turns, I'm going to have lethal. See, that's what I'm banking on. If I just don't summon something, you can't steal anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. I get it. Um, Let's All go right. for Eagle. This one probably has more attack, right? Oh, 1,500. Now we're doing some damage. <laughs> Three turn clock now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Some mistakes were made on both sides this game. Let's be <laughs> Attack. Great old alligator. No, are you fucking <laughs> kidding me, dude? That's. Did you see which mirror force that was, Doug? Yeah, I did. I saw which mirror force it was. Just oh the regular gosh, vanilla now one. Now I can never attack without fear fucking <laughs> two mirror forces. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well. I mean, this is still not yeah, that great. Weird. Like, you're just adding a gradle every turn. Oh, I was okay. I'm really just delaying the inevitable. I feel. I mean, my guys have like max out at 1500 attack points, so <laughs> this is gonna take mm, a second. Fear right, Saki one of. Now it's a two of this Mirror Force and Quaking Mirror Force. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Sign um, at recovery. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Great. summon Clock Wyvern. I'm, I'm wondering if it's even worth using his effect to climb into oh. a Link monster. <laughs> I'll tell you yeah, what truth. Link 2 do you have? Nothing good. At least nothing that deals with a what's it called. This might have been a misplay, honestly. I probably should have just waited until I had an extender, maybe. But you're just going to mm. set more traps. Uh, I think this thing. is the closest episode I've come to to just playing Altergeist. Like... <laughs> <clears throat> Gradle Impact is just personal spoofing. Stawn traps every turn. Broken. I'm in my element. Uh, undefeated. So you blackhorned the summon of my t uh, transcode, didn't you? Yeah. That is unfortunate. The thing is, like, if I summon... There's nothing I can do to stop the Gradle. That's the problem. Gradles <laughs> are Literally. unstoppable. Actually, silly Doug negated the summon of my transcode talker. Not silly Doug. Yeah, I Where don't think I should be. Uh, I, sh I should be summoning. I think I should have been waiting a turn here. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use this. Chain ring. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I just need to uh, do damage. <laughs> this is the way to do some damage. Yeah, I guess that's understandable. Oh, because it didn't lower its level, or it didn't have its attack. Yeah, it doesn't reduce the, the attack, so... <clears throat> That's rip. <laughs> Alright, as I've done many times, so normal summon Gradle monster attack. Seems good, seems good. Seems alright. Alright, there is one card I th think I can draw that can help. Yeah? Let's see if I can get it. Oh wow, you really just have a full Gradle deck. Not bad. Yep. Full, full power gradles. <laughs> full power me. gradles. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, so how does this card work? Okay, could do that. Seems a little bit risky, but it would be game. Yeah, you probably don't have anything. Wow, really? The the respect? None. Yeah. Oh, no Gradle respect. Slime. You don't have Torrential. Target two chance. Gradle cards you control. Destroy them, especially this card. Oh, yeah. This card is summoned. Target a Gradle in your grave special dot target in defense. Okay, how are you gaming me? Oh, he's a tuner. How am I gaming? Oh, he's a tuner. Oh my We're god. We're gonna summon the ultimate Gradle Dragon. <laughs> oh my god, you actually have a Gradle Dragon. Let's go. Which at it's this an point ultra. Amazing. Both of your cards. Oh god. That's pretty good. And then, <laughs> Gradle Dragon attack for no game. <laughs> oh god, I lost to a Gradles Gradle Dragon. Gradles are too good. <laughs> Nobody's summoned this guy since 2015. Like, 
I don't think That's... anyone summoned him ever. <laughs> ever, exactly. I think I'm gonna go first, yes. Yeah? I don't like going first into Gradles. It's, uh, it's not ideal. So you wanna go first? Yes, yes, yes. I would like to go okay. first. I think we still go first. I just maybe I just don't summon anything going first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well in that case you might as well have gone second. Well, so but no, I can set draw. back row. Yeah. <laughs> oh my okay. Gosh. Um, that's a hand. All right. Well, let's think. What do we want to do with first turn? <laughs> uh, like, oh, uh, there's not a lot I can really. Go for a turn one because of the uh, gradles. So, man, the gradles are striking fear in the enemy. I'll oh do my a little T -set. T set here, I suppose. In 2022, okay. Oh my gosh, this is the best deck I've ever made in my life. Activate Cosmic Cyclone. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, it was your Cosmic I hate deck. setting Cosmic for Normal these kind of reasons. Normal summon traffic oh, familiar, damn. which is limited. <laughs> This is your limited um, card, true. Okay, well, at least it wasn't yeah. a Gradle. Captrix Trap Hole Nightmare. So, special summon monster, negate, and destroy. That's reasonable. I literally built anti plunder patrol deck, and then you didn't play plunder patrol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it, the impact. Oh, the impact. That's what I wanted to use that cosmic for. Oh, no! <laughs> I got destroyed this, this deck week! This is unbeatable! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, Okay, well, I think I know what this deck's back row, uh, weakness is. It's fucking back row. Yeah. Oh, no. Where's um, your double lightning storm now, Farfa? <laughs> true, exactly. Imagine we had lightning storm. I am going to normal summon Clock Wyvern. Oh, sure. Okay. Just keep track of how many I summon, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll try this again, then, I think. Ah, the old... <laughs> Nemesis of Clock Wyvern, a single <laughs> copy of the Ring of the, Destruction. The infamous matchup from 2016, Clock Wyvern oh, versus God. Ring of Destruction. Okay. Oh right. no! Dude, trap cards, it's just, what can I do? Um, <laughs> okay, gradles, man. Normal oh, Eagle. Okay, yep. Reasonable. I'm pretty sure I have no copies of Snake, by the way. It's not that I'm just not searching it. I don't think I own that card in this game. Um, uh, that's okay, we'll go... fine. I, I couldn't tell you which one that is, to tell you the truth. It's that's the, the first time I'm the hearing of its existence. One. It's the trap one. Oh, there's a Gradle trap? That's interesting. Well, no, it's one that triggers if destroyed by a trap. Effect. Oh, right. Okay, is that how they work? Yeah. Damn, they're like really basic union monsters, eh? Yeah, they're great. Okay, they're all great. right. Still three back row. Let's uh, normal summon Clock Wyvern, and we Wait. try this again. You that is the third one, Doug. <laughs> yeah, that was the third one, yep. Yeah. Sure, right. I mean, yeah. Let's activate Signet Recovery. Now, does that trigger when they're Blackhorned? It doesn't. Not that I have Blackhorn, but it doesn't trigger off. I know, right? But let's first start with a Link Spider. Oh, yeah, that can do that. Uh, yep. I'm going to activate the effect of Link Spider. A nightmare. It's fine. Then you can revive another clock wyvern. But I'm not sure what you do at that point. Oh, baby. Don't you worry, my friend. Oh, I yeah, guess they're both but... level four. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna make Hexaton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd okay. be pretty good. <laughs> Many weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, you stole my Exiton Knight with a Gradle Monster, if you remember. <laughs> that was like episode two or something. So I guess I just have to go for it. I'm gonna summon Update Jammer. Update Jammer? I am summoning yeah. Update Jammer. How do you get to another monster? Oh, this one is just like an Armades, right? Why do you have so many Armades effects? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Stuff. Apparently that's just the gimmick of this deck. Yeah. Link from the hand! Oh, shit. Okay. All right. We uh, actually have transcode plus update jammer, huh? I'm going to activate the effect the dump, and I guess I'll chain block with jammer. So now that we know the <laughs> microcoder thing, what are we sending here? Because we can't. Uh, just the level four. Don't worry. Now that I know how the uh, the interaction works. Right, right. 
Alright, activate the transcode to bring back Let's the update hope jammer. This works? No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, too many <laughs> trap cards. Too many trap yep. cards. When the wind is lost, exactly. Ah, <sighs> sad. I All had right. to play against full power Learless Driver game for three episodes. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. Great old impact. This is what it is. What? Oh, what that's an eagle. Do? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what <laughs> I did or didn't do. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Call the haunted. I am literally never setting Cosmic Cyclone again. I am never setting Cosmic ever again. I think there was a few other plays I could have done there that would have been maybe a little better. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, yeah, Chad, I see it now. <laughs> the draw. As soon as Ooh. I like clicked activate impact, I was like, this is not correct. This is not right. This the power fine. of Gradles will carry me to victory, even if I misplay. There's not a single episode in this series where one person doesn't miss lethal. And yes, it's usually me missing lethal. <laughs> To be fair, um, I don't know what that's gonna do. So what the hell? He just he just floodgated a text changer. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you passed. <laughs> Wait, did I ban that card? No, you limited it. You limited it. Oh, did I limit it? Oh, okay, man. now I'll do what I should have done last turn, <laughs> which was win the game. <laughs> oh God, rip. Man, oh Gradles. boy, no, he's gonna make the I don't know if there's again. ever been an episode that was this lopsided besides like full power tri brigades, <laughs> which means Gradles are on the same level <laughs> as tri brigades. <laughs> Apparently, man, just 20 trap cards oh, and a guy that gosh. steals when it's destroyed is really strong. Yep. It's too well, good. Good game. Attack back to the game two times in a row, Gradle Dragon. Back to back to the drawing board. Apparently, good games, good games. This is we the deck I should have played last week, if I'm being honest. But I just wasn't big brain enough to see it at the time. <sighs> well, until next time, everyone. Have a good one.